What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Same Difference Podcast. <laughs> Is this thing on? Hello, friend. What's going on? Hola, senorita. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm doing very well. Is a um, gloomy, gloomy, rainy Chicago Monday, but I love gloomy, rainy days, so I can't complain. It's been, okay. it's, it's been chill, you know, worked, you know, the huge for a Monday. The huge. Mm-hmm. You work from home today? No, I actually went to the office today. <clears throat> we uh, had a new, we had a new hire that started. So we all like to be in on their first day. Um, and so we were there. His name is Max. Um, and then, you know, we take our, we take the new hire out for like a team lunch on their first day. So it's like a tradition. So we decided to all come in. So I don't have to go in tomorrow. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, today was the perfect day to stay in bed and like do nothing because it was raining all day, but. Mm. I was on my, I went into the plantation. <laughs> oh, did. wait. So, like, your birthday month is, a uh, birthday weekend is coming up. It is. And I was just thinking, that means this, around this time last year, I was in Chicago, and I was trying to remember Word. the weather. I do remember it being a little rainy one of them days. Yeah, like, we were, we were dressed. We had, like, pants on. You had, like, okay. pants and long sleeves on and stuff. We were, we were covered up for the most part. So the summerish weather is is bye bye in Chicago now. Yeah, fall is 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 rolling on in. It sure is. I'll That's be crazy it. because I literally it's certain t- times of the day I can't even sit on my balcony because it's so hot. Like I've been mm-hmm. out there and my phone will literally give me a heat warning. <laughs> and it's in my hand. It's just that's how hot it is outside. That's crazy. Yeah, today was a high of 69, the low is 61, and it was just rainy all day. It's still, you know, kind of rainy. Um, tomorrow through Friday, it will be sunny, but the high is only going to be around like 72, and it's going to get into the 50s at nighttime. So it's like, yeah, we're real deep. On my, on my birthday, it's going to be 78. So, you know, weather's going to be good. Yeah. With a Friday has a high of seventy eight, a low of fifty three, and then yep. let me pull out my Tampa weather. Hold on. <laughs> um, let's see. The low this week is going to be at night. The lowest it's going to be is seventy two. Okay, beautiful night. The lowest it's going to be during the day is eighty nine. <laughs> Hot. This day is going to be tomorrow at 95 with the low Ooh, of 70. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. You know, I love a hot summer day. I, I'm never not going to love a hot summer day. So, mm-hmm. um, but I, so, you know, I, when I woke up this morning, it was all like dark in my room and the, you know, my window was cracked so I could hear the rain and it was all cozy. And I'm just like, oh, what if I had a man in my bed with me? Like, oh, that would be so mm. like, you know, like vibes or whatever. But not, I was expecting you to say that. I had to get up and go to work. So grand opening, grand closing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, fall is upon us and we'll be here shortly. So yeah, like I went mm-hmm. out on Friday and I wore a jacket. Cause it was chilly at night. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wore wore some boots. <sighs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're All here. right. We're here. Well. Yeah. What'd you do this past weekend? Yeah, that was what I was about to update you all, you guys on. Not much of one though. <laughs> y'all know how it goes over here. Y'all get all the life to be lived from Miss Passionista. No way. No way. <laughs> and I just be in the house. So you I, was gonna, I was gonna I was going to go to dinner. But then I didn't. <laughs> but then I didn't. <laughs> There's a lot of light in here and I feel like it's washing my face out and I want to turn some of it off, but I don't know what to turn off. Um, oh, well, you look beautiful to me. The makeup is makeuping. Is that too dark? Uh-uh. I mean, I can see you. I can see you just okay. fine. 
um, lip gloss popping, hair cute. Like, you look good, girl. You look good. So I need to get my hair redone, but I really thought that my first um, experience getting my hair done here was going to be a nice good old silk press because that's what I love. Mm -hmm. um, bust them, bust me down the middle, which I didn't even used to be a fan of of, of middle parts, but <laughs> um, but it's not giving it with this heat. Yeah, I don't want to go outside. I told y'all twelve years of slave vibes. <laughs> um, you know that's not not going to be conducive to doing any dating um, for a man mm -hmm. to be me in my head all over my dad on head. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna have to get braids again, and y'all know the struggle with that. Okay, you want you to come wash, blow dry, half your head done, mm -hmm. edges laid. I need ten dollars to to confirm. And then mm -hmm. when I text you to confirm, I need 50 more dollars. And then you need to show up with cash. And it must be exact because I don't have any change. Do right. not bring food. If you show up 15 minutes late, that's going to be $20. Like, it's just rule. Oh, bitch, can you even braid good enough for all of this? <laughs> Facts. Like, Facts. this, buy it with that. Mm -mm. So I'm just trying to sort through some folks, but yeah, I got to get these braids up out of my head in the next week and a half or two. So that's my next tall task. All right, all right. Well, next week when we see you, you're gonna be all full glammed up, huh? I didn't say next week. I said next mm. week or two. I'm no, finding no. a braider. Listen, one it thing about me, I'm gonna wear these braids. One thing about me, I'm gonna wear these braids. These braids wearing me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them girls. A little rough edge ain't never scared me because that's my natural hair, my natural hair texture. I'm a black girl. Okay. <laughs> she said, I'm a black girl. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks cute, so it doesn't even look yes, like man. you need to like you don't need to rush to find anybody to do your hair because you look good, girl. It, Florida looks good on you, I must say. Thank you. Yes. Speaking of black girls, tell me what the girl name is because I don't want to say it wrong. That won the US Open. Coco Golf or okay. Golf, Coco Golf. She won. So you don't know years old. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I believe it's Golf though. G A U F F. Okay. Yeah, she is one of uh, the youngest person to win at nineteen. Um, um, so she broke Serena's record. Oh, oh yes, yes. Um, I mean, she is from the school of Venus and Serena Williams. So it's beautiful to see this young black girl not only win but break a record. You know, and I don't know if it was previously held by Serena, but if it was, kudos to that young woman for it was you know, previously held by Serena. I read that. Okay. So, you know, it's just, you know, black girl magic. It's crazy. Like, you know, Serena, they is arguably one of the greatest, you know, athletes ever to ever play a sport. So, um, if this is a sign of things to come for Coco Goff, she's got a, a a beautiful career ahead of her. And I'm just, I'm happy for her. I'm excited for her. Yeah, after she had to check that daggone umpire. <laughs> I mean, that crazy? We got, we like literally on a national stage playing at the most esteemed level and still got to check people. Stop playing right, with her. Right. You know? Right. Right. Um, her, she was on live. And people were asking her what she was going to do with her winning her, like her, mm. her prize money. And they were, she was like, somebody said, pay off debt. I don't have any debt. I'm 19. I live with my parents. Like I don't have any mm. debt. And she was like, and I didn't go to college. <laughs> and she starts cracking up on the live. It was so funny, but like, like, mm -hmm. please get out of here. Like it's, it's, it's good over here. I know um, that's right. Yeah, so that was really nice to see. Shout out to and congratulations to Coco Golf, uh, the newest U.S. Open champion. I'm sure the deals will be rolling in. I'll be sure. I'll be, you know, I'm anxious oh, to see yeah. what she does with Nike because you know Nike will snatch you up for anybody. Get you. She is a New Balance spokeswoman, actually. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Everything okay. she was wearing was New Balance, and then I saw a commercial recently. It aired. Obviously, it aired. Um, because, you know, she's playing and she won. But, yes, she's a New Balance girl. Okay, girl. Mm -hmm. Get your point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of her. Um, I it, I felt like there were a lot of brown people at the U.S. Open. Tennis just in general lately. Like, I think there's a couple little young black dudes coming up playing tennis, too. I don't know their names because, you know, girls, girls rule. Um, I don't care about them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's it's looking a little more colorful. 
in the sport of tennis. And, you know, it, it, it ain't shout out to Venus and Serena, truly, because. I mean, and Arthur Ashe as well. I mean, he was like a pioneer, but just He's from with... Richmond. Really? You're welcome. <laughs> That's nice. I didn't know that. Fun fact. Mm -hmm. mm, learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that, I watched it. I watched the match. It was very, she played very well. Um, yeah, I, I want to get a little bit more. I don't understand tennis scoring, so we're going to learn that. Yeah, I don't know the scoring. I don't know the moves. I don't know the like the things that make it like you did it wrong. Like uh, like uh, in, in comparison to a foul or a double dribble or yeah. all sides, you know, or flag I, I know on the play. Basketball and basketball, so right. She's yeah. a flag on the play. Mm -hmm. What the flag on the play mean, friend? Like that's when something bad happens, or like something in football happens, and they have to like call it. Okay. Like, like like a foul. Yeah. I know a few things. Just a little bit. I don't know much. It was just the way you said it that threw me. Like, flag on the play. <laughs> <laughs> um, For real. But, yeah, I thought about that yesterday, too, because, you know, football started. And I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? And the Bucks played at home. Tampa mm -hmm. Bay Bucks. I live in a another city with the major sports team. Hey. Just football. You know, Atlanta had the Hawks and the Falcons. Uh, mm -hmm. Here in Florida, they have the Tampa Bay Bucks football team and the Orlando Magic basketball team. But um, the Miami Dolphins. I forgot about them. Mm -hmm. And the Miami oh, sorry. Heat. Huh? The Miami Heat. Okay. All right. Well, keep it coming, Passion. They got, I mean, there's a few teams out in Florida. <laughs> I just know the Bucks were playing here yesterday. I'm like, mm, you know what? I'm going to have to go out somewhere uh, on a football Sunday mm -hmm. or Monday or hell Saturday. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, look, every fucking day of the week, it feels like. Yeah. Make myself visible. I mean, and if you want to go to a baseball game, there's the Florida Marlins, too. All right, Passion. Enough's enough. <laughs> <to> fucking show. <laughs> Showing it's ESPN on over here, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, you've been um, watching ESPN because you know a whole lot of teams. I mean, I grew up in a football home. Okay. My mom was like, you need to pay attention to sports so you can have something to talk about with men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which sport do you like watching the most? Basketball. Mm -hmm. I'm football. Really? Mm-hmm. No, basketball Y'all keep going up. It, 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 it's so it, easy to understand. Like, there, it's just it's just really simple and easy. I mean, I like foot. I mean, I watch sports because the niggas be fine, you know? And it's a, a girl can dream. Like, Jalen Hurts. Well, the like, basketball oh. niggas are definitely finer than the football guys. Because the football they are. guys had a neck, like, you know, wide. Some of them. Some of them, yes. You know? Some of them are built funny, and it's a no for me. I love a basketball player because I, you know, I like a tall man. I love climbing a tree. You know, mm -hmm. it's always a good time. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I like, you know, I've, I like, I don't know. I dated a basketball player and a football player. Not, not, not anybody professional guys. I just mean okay. like, okay, when I was in high school, like my, my long term boyfriend was a football player, and then um, I was like seeing the senior. I was a sophomore, and he played basketball. Okay. And of course, when I was in college, like the football, a couple of football players was, you know, trying to holla. Okay. Yeah. So I, I like an athlete. Funny. <laughs> I like an athlete. You are hilarious, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shout did out to Coco Did Ross you play any sports football. when you were in school? No. Okay. I read You books. were a cheerleader, right? I was. I was an athletic that's a sport. supporter. Athletic supporter. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah, that's a sport. Yep, I was a varsity cheerleader. I I sure was lettered and everything. Okay, what that mean? Um, you if you if you are a varsity, make the varsity team on any sport. You would like letter in it, so like you'll get your Letterman's jacket and you'll get like your school's thing for whatever it is that you excelled in, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and so I had a C because I went to Central High School. I had a C for academics, cheerleading, and music. Okay. Um, so, but I was a freshman cheerleader and then I was junior varsity and then I was varsity junior and senior year. Okay. So, you know, all star. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was kind of that girl in high school. It's funny when I think about it. I don't know where Why I got it. funny. You still that girl. Still, I am. It's just. You'll never it's, be that girl. 
forever. Like forever, I'm that girl. It's mm-hmm. just funny. Like where, where, where? How did I have so much time? Because mm. I don't be having time. Up at five forty-five, at school by seven. You know, doing well in school, coming home. Uh, there was a cheerleading practice in there. Um, doing my homework, going to my part-time job, coming home, handling whatever responsibilities I got at home, and then getting up and doing all, all over again. And then the, the weekend comes, and you want to you managing your homework. You have your little job. You hanging out with your friends. I'm not. I went to work this week, and that's enough. <laughs> I don't know where I even in college. Like, where did I have the time to like be a full-time student and have two part-time jobs on top of that and a social life? Like. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm gonna sleep good tonight because baby, today was a busy day. I literally have got, but I, but it feels good though. I, I feel accomplished today. I'm okay. hoping the rest of the week goes that way. I, Ooh, yes, um, do we have an update on TikTok? Yeah, um, I created a schedule for myself this week. Um, that I'm hoping will help me focus a little bit more during the day and sleep better at night. So that's why I know I'm gonna sleep good tonight because I was so busy today. Okay. Um, TikTok. I am, I'll have to check it because I haven't checked it since I posted a video, um, like around 6.30. But um, there, TikTok is doing this thing now where you know how on Instagram, okay, well, it must be doing well. Looks like I just gained 211 new followers. Hey. Uh, yeah. I was, when I, when I got on live before I got on here with you, I was at 48 and then 48.2 thousand and I'm at 48.4 thousand. Okay. Um. Hmm, this little guy keeps commenting on my stuff. Who is he? <laughs> we'll get into that later. Um. So TikTok has this thing now. You know how when you go on Instagram on your story, it'll say post four pictures of you from September 2022, mm-hmm. or post four pictures of you different hairstyles. Well, TikTok is doing that now. And um, one of the creators that I follow, she had done one that said, uh, post your most viral video. And so I decided, okay, well, that might be a good way to, you know, get some traction going, get some, you know, traffic back to my page. And so I posted it. My most viral video had gotten 1.3 million views back in, uh, I posted it July of 2022. Excuse me. And I didn't check it just now, but um, earlier when I checked it, it was up to 200,000 views, the repost that I had done. And then I, I, the good thing about it is it wasn't just one video. It was a video that had six different parts. So, mm-hmm. so then people were again tuned in. Where's part two? Where's part three? So I've been posting those, but in between posting those, I've been posting my regular content in between some of those videos. So it's helping all of the videos do well. Um, the thing that really helps on TikTok too, I don't know if it works this way for Instagram because you know they do they play by their own set of rules that nobody knows that what they are, and then when you figure them out, they change them. But um, it really helps when people are commenting. Mm-hmm. And so everybody that's commenting, I'm commenting too. Okay, okay. So Engagement. instead of me going from like 50 comments, now it's 100 comments because I commented back to everybody. That just takes a lot of time when you mm-hmm. get a video that's doing really well, which I got a little like um, overwhelmed earlier today responding back, but. Mm. I'm pushing myself. I'm determined to push myself back into the out- right algorithm. And it seems to be working. And I've been doing this. I think this is like the third day that I've been doing this and it's been working. So, um, okay. yeah. Yeah. I'm I've glad that- been posting some of the content to Instagram, like my good friend said. Uh, I posted, if y'all not uh, following me on Instagram or TikTok, go follow me now and look at the v- video that I posted yesterday. It was saying like, I bet y'all never seen nobody fry chicken in that Cheddar Bay Biscuit mix. So I bought okay, the Cheddar I was intrigued. <laughs> I was. Because I was like, oh, what's she about to do with that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I used it as my flour batter and I fried some chicken tenders in it. Zing. That's what I was eating before we started recording, and baby. <laughs> she said that's what I was eating before I started yep. recording. So if you're not following me, <laughs> and watch that video um so yeah it's kind of where 
kind of where TikTok is for right okay, now. Sure. Hopefully she continues in the right direction. In the meantime, though, I have reached out to support to tell them fix my shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fix it because mm-hmm. it's not right. Yeah. Like, okay? But I will continue to just do that to just repost content that has done really well. <laughs> the only thing about it is my content really started to blow up like end of spring, beginning of summer. And so I gained so many followers around that time that it made sense to repost the video from July of last year when I maybe didn't have as much following mm-hmm. versus mm-hmm. I can't keep me posting mm-hmm. stuff that I posted, you know, five months ago. So, Yeah. Okay. I'm just okay. trying to make sure that in order to keep up with that demand, I'm creating content. Like I was in the um common area today taking pictures for a new look that I got for the finished look, recording a couple um like little voiceover videos. Like while I got this traction, I have to continue posting content to keep people intrigued, to get the follows, to keep the traction so that I can continue to land some of these brand deals and collaborations. I love this. I love mm-hmm. this. I can't wait to see, like, I can't wait until you mm-hmm. un, like, fold all of this and we get to mm-hmm. see it. Mm-hmm. One, the first paid collaboration will be posted this month. Okay. Before the end of the month. I'm just yeah. waiting for, I'm waiting for the product to come in the mail. I got another um, unpaid collaboration, which I'm willing to do unpaid co- collaborations as I start. Okay. For things that make sense. Yeah. So I feel like this is going to make sense. Um, I'll just tell y'all because if you don't listen to the podcast, you won't hear it. But I am doing a collab with this, um, what do you call it? Press on Nail Company. Mm. Which makes sense because y'all know one of my viral videos from the spring um, was about me complaining about the nail folks overcharging. <laughs> And trying to be sneaky with that damn bag on three dollars. Uh huh. Things like that makes sense. Uh, so correct me. Yeah, that three dollars. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. They tried to rob me. <laughs> Even you remember. Even you remember. Uh, yeah, they tried to rob me. That shit was funny. Yeah. So what I'll probably do for something like that is I will repost that video. And then I'll post the collab video. Okay. You know? I'm excited. Oh, that's it. Yeah. It's going to be mm-hmm. like, come on, come on, influencer. Oh, wait, you never showed me your nails. You were supposed to be having an, uh, you were, last time you were on here soaking your nails off. Oh, <laughs> you're funny. Just, I did a little design for Rari Red. I got some little dots and shit. You know, just something lightweight. Okay, girl. I'll have to post a picture so people, somebody's son getting blocked today. Uh oh. Did anybody's son get blocked over the weekend after you got your nails done? <laughs> no. At, well, Ooh, no. Somebody sound like somebody's son might be acting right. Um, there's been some act right going around. Okay, I ain't mad at that. There's some act right going around. I mean, it's literally what's I today. That pile of shoes in the back embarrassing me. Y'all relax. Okay, I'm recording the podcast. Y'all was not supposed to be visible. <laughs> Chill out. Okay? Um, you funny. Um, Acting up in front of company. <laughs> um, yeah, nobody got blocked this week. Um, uh, people that are blocked, one person in particular has been trying to reach out to me on Instagram, but like, he got to stop. For real, you got to stop, sweetheart. Oh. Um. Well, but, you gonna have to tell me after the show. Uh, I will. Who I will. You gonna you gonna fucking laugh because like what do, what are you what are you doing here? What do you want, sir? Laugh. Ooh. Remember Stop. on my Instagram stories for those that you follow me on Instagram. Sometimes I'll cuss you out <laughs> when I'm like you know mad about something or I've had a couple of drinks. I'll cuss like I'll just be cussing on Instagram. It was the person you talking about from your last rant. Uh huh. When I was like, gotcha. sir. How how is the new apartment with your girlfriend? Like, how's it going? Like, did you guys like go to the IKEA together and stuff? Like, did you go to Target? Like, are you guys doing a home goods run and having brunch? Like, what's happening? Oh, or, start like, posting home goods. Mm, you know, a couple. I, yeah, like I, mean, I made a joke. Out matching pajamas at this point. Oh, I mean, they live together. Like, it's happening. Yeah, it's, it, it it's happening. So, um. I want to be in match pajamas with somebody's son. It's, it's I'm claiming it. I am going to yes, be in match pajamas, it. y'all. 
claim it in Jesus' name. I thought it was me matching pajamas with somebody's son that don't get on my nerves. <laughs> um, yeah, like, so basically, he he has been reaching out to me. And mm. I'm not giving him anything. Well, what does he want? What is he even saying? Um, do you have a boyfriend for real? Yes, I have a boyfriend. I'm lying, but like, I got a boyfriend. Like, what you want? And if somebody's just... got a girlfriend, why does that even matter? Right. Like, I like I don't like. What are we doing here? Like, what are we doing here? Basically, he wants to continue a conversation. He can tell that I'm not really looking to stay connected to him in that way. Mm -hmm. Um, and he asked me, like, he was like, I just feel like this is a different attitude from you. Yeah. And and I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean different attitude? He was like, I mean, if you don't want me to talk to you anymore, I'll leave you alone. And I'm like, we are two people who used to talk. that don't talk anymore. We, we catch up and we communicate infrequently whenever we happen to, you know, chat on Insta or, or whatever. Like there's no, there's no, like me not talking to you is not because I hate you and there's beef. I don't right. talk to you anymore. Like, we, right, like people, right. people date and then things work out. They don't work out and everyone like moves on. And th- that's when I was like, don't you have a girlfriend? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. So like, I'm confused on what, like what it is that you want. Like what, what rapport are you looking to have? Like you got a girlfriend, you you out here playing house and doing some shit you couldn't or didn't want to do with me, but you wanted me to sit back in the pocket and still be kind of hitting you with the <laughs> the winks and the smiles and shit for what? Like there's not, that's not, I'm not getting nothing out of that. Yeah. And then I took it a step further since you want to press me and you want to ask me like why you ain't talking to me no more. I'm going to do what you niggas can't do. And that's be honest with you. Mm. I am trying to get my own motion going on with somebody. I'm trying to meet someone, date, fall in love, hopefully take the next step in a relationship where we want to move in together. Mm -hmm. We start thinking about what our life is going to look like together. I'm trying to Mm -hmm. do that. I cannot entertain you and sit up here and with these, with these little dumbass text messages and empty promises and just, you know, you know, you just talking out the side of your neck, just talking out your ass, literally mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. shit you're not going to do that you don't mean. Why am I going to sit here and do that with you? And you, like, like I said, God has been clearing the bench. People have been moved out of the way either by me, by him, just remove themselves. Like, you got it like and and I was I was holding firm because he had been reaching out to me and was like and then today it was kind of like I'm not understanding this you really not fucking with me and it's just like no and I said you know did it ever occur to you that maybe I'm keeping a safe space a safe distance from someone that I one used to be involved in who I don't talk to anymore who kind of hurt me a little bit um like 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 what you want and he was just and so the last, the, thing to me. the last you, thing he you said be my me, friend, but you the reason we not together because you was a, a butthole like what but how, then, how did you think that that how, how did you think we were going gonna go from what we were doing to hey it yeah, was like, never gonna happen no like we're not friends like it's, it's not like that but there's no beef though sweetheart like there i, mm-hmm. I promise you there's no beef and the last thing he said to me was, well, what if I'm not, what if I don't want to keep a safe distance from you? Like, what if I want to stay close? We're not. You gonna... have a girlfriend. What? Like, it's not, it's not up to you. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. <sighs> you know, want to double text and question mark shit that I ain't respond to. That shit is about to sit there. There's other niggas on my line that actually got some motion. So we're going to see, so we're going to get on that train and see where that's going. Cause this is a dead end over here, sweetheart. Sorry. Like it's literally no beef. So, I mean, if he doesn't like cut it out, I will be blocking with these nails. Um, but the, uh, other contenders so far, so good. Okay. So far, so good. I like to hear that. Yeah. Like everyone is like really nice. Like I'm, I feel like I've met people that are like at my level and kind of get me and I get them and it just like, it makes sense. Like this is actually mm, you giving me pills, girl. Come I on mean, with it. I'm a little shook to be honest. Shook I'm, a little, is good. I'm a little shook just because now I really like 
because I'm meeting these men that are like really genuinely nice guys and have, like I said, motion. Like that's been like my mantra for 2023, all motion 2023. They have their own motion and they're like doing things. And so it's like, okay, let me make sure that I can actually stand alongside this young man with my motion, you know? And just, you know, I already want to like be better, move better, operate differently. And just, you know, like somebody, some wife, like I want to, be taken, I want to be taken seriously. Like this girl could really be my girlfriend or this girl really could be like my woman. I could see her being the mother of my, like, I want niggas, I want to be looked at like that. That doesn't mm-hmm. mean I'm not fun. That doesn't mean I'm not passionate. That doesn't mean that, you know, I, I'm going to be some old ball and chain. No. Right. But but I do want true love and companionship and happiness and fire and passion and sex and love and all of the good things that you're supposed to experience when you're in a relationship. And it's like mutual. Mm -hmm. All of that stuff ain't happening when you're entertaining like frivolous, stupid shit. And I'm just not doing that anymore. And I'm and it's literally no dis no disrespect to anybody that, you know, feels like damn how come you don't want to talk to me no more it ain't like just i'm moving on and at this age i feel like like when we know that things aren't going anywhere we both have to be adult enough to amicably move on yeah like it doesn't like i'm not about to argue you know no i am the feelings that i want to feel behind a man are i want them to be positive i don't want them to be negative i'm tired of having to get over somebody because i like like them for no we're done with that Mm-hmm. are you it no all right nice nice meeting you take mm-hmm. care move yeah. it around yep but Same. also you don't you don't get access to me baby because when i do post my nigga and everybody faces crack you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be able to text me and say nothing because there's no conversation to be had when i post yeah. that nigga on the gram it's over mm-hmm. please do not Ooh, it's take a lot it's gonna take a while for me to get to posting a nigga on the you, gram. you will see that on my wedding day it'll be my wedding photo dms permanently closed <laughs> i know that's the fuck right be blessed everyone but like you said i'm somebody's son wife so i'm out here moving like a wife sweetie not entertaining all these random nobodies or old bodies in my dm like you know, I felt like, like I said, I think I said this last week, I felt like I was kind of dating out of boredom. Mm-hmm. Just kind of, well, you know, he's around, something to do. It's, you know, going out for the sake of saying I have a date and shit. No, I actually want to go out on dates with people like that I fuck with for real. Like, mm-hmm. I like you. I like mm-hmm. your taste in music. I like your style. You kind of funny. Ooh, you cute. You smell good. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you want to you hold my hand? You can hold my hand. Come on, let's hold hands. Oh, we're going to take a shot. Oh, my God. What are we toasting to? And then everyone, you know, somebody wants to make a little joke like, oh, to the future. And it'd be like, oh, I'm just playing. You know, I ain't trying to, you know, do too much too soon. Or somebody. Don't play with me because I'm looking to the future. You know? Mm Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I, like, I really want to, like, make memories with someone and actually just get to know someone. Like, I want to go out and see how you operate in public. Are you nice to the wait staff? Um, do you tip? What's, what's, what are you going to do when the homeless person is walking up on me? Cause I know what I'm doing. You got bag back, sir. Get away from me. Or are you going to be the nice person <laughs> that gives a dollar? You know, like I want to get to know you tell me about your family. Not because I'm interviewing you and mm-hmm. being like, you know, rapid fire oh, questions. Brains are literally on the same wavelength. Cause I literally this was about the same to different ask. podcast, boo. Like what you mean? Yeah. I literally <laughs> don't ask you. And it's so crazy y'all because passion, I really just get on here and we have topics to discuss, but we will, we have we'll to tangent. Deeper. Huh? We'll go off on a tangent. <laughs> yeah. And just going off on a tangent, just having just good old girlfriend conversation because we said that we were going to try to reserve dating and, and, and talks of it for once a month. That way we could just update you all on how our dating life was going, how things were looking, you know, the suitors, this, that, and the third. But here we are. And it made me think of the fact that I asked you last week, when, how long do you date a guy before you have to say, okay, this is or isn't moving in the right direction. What are we doing here? Like, how long do you let it go on? before you kind of like move on and take other people seriously. And so now this week I want to know, and this is why I say our brains are on the same wavelength because you mentioned families. Mm -hmm. At what point do you meet a man's family and when does he meet yours? So I thought about that 
because I was like, am I, am I, am I meet, have I met a couple people where I, I might like meet their family and am I going to know how to act and like what to do and how to behave? And am I going to have the wherewithal to like get up and like help with the, in the kitchen? Like, are you going to like yeah. be able to show up? Yeah. Like, and then I got like anxious and I was just like, ah, I don't want to fucking do this. <laughs> when was the last time you met a man's family? How long has it been? Pandemic Bay. I met his mom. Okay. Minneapolis. Okay. Okay. I didn't. I didn't meet anybody's family here in Chicago. I haven't. I haven't okay. gotten that far with anybody. It's so funny you say that. Like when you talk about, um, like going to help in the kitchen, because that is like, that is like a black. It's almost like a rite of passage, but also we trying to see if we really, we, we really fooled this girl. Exactly. All the she- women are in the kitchen, cooking, cleaning, wiping, moving, helping. What you doing? Right. Right. Sweet. Yeah. So. Ain't that crazy? I- Our culture is just so unique. Were you like- raised right? <laughs> Shit, because that's really what it is. Now, who raised you? <laughs> it's so many layers to being black, mm-hmm. oh, a black goodness. woman, especially. Mm-hmm. Um, you know the, the you know we're you're, we're we're just we're always being watched, whether that's by our man, our man's mama, our mama, like mm-hmm. you know, just our grandmama, a grandmama, just the elderly black lady in the room who just watching because she watching, you know, like it's just yes. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, I. I, no one is meeting my family until I feel like Mm -hmm. this is something. Same. I am like, when you meet my family, you, if you, if, if you had any doubts, like just Pasha, I don't know. I love Pasha and she makes me feel so great, blah, blah. But like, I I really, sometimes I just don't know. If you meet my family, no, you are in, we are locked in. No, yeah. Because my, my family has Dang. to love you. They have to love you more than they love me. My family mm-hmm. is very close. We are very loving. We laugh and joke. We tease all the time. Nonstop jokes. Like big personalities, strong personalities. Don't be afraid to speak up or we're going to corner you and be like, why are you over there in the corner being quiet? What's wrong with you? You don't like us? Like, mm-hmm. my, like my man needs to be able to like sit in the living room with my family and I run to the store and he doesn't like have a heart mm-hmm. attack. Yeah, you know. Same. Yeah, like, I feel like it's if and when somebody well, when somebody meets my family, it's definitely we fin to be husband and wife at some point. Because I have not introduced anyone to my family in a decade. It's been ten years for me. Really? And yeah. The last time I met any, I, I uh, introduced anybody to my family was um, the guy that I was dating in Cleveland. Hmm. So uh, that was 2012, 2013. So. Wow. It's been a decade. Yeah. I yeah. mean, gosh, the last time I introduced a guy to my family, shit, probably, probably around the same time. Because my the last person, I was in a relationship for five years until I was 28. And then I mm-hmm. was moving. And then from 28 to now, I've been moving. So Mm -hmm. I have like there, I haven't even been with anyone long enough to be like, Hey, so my parents are in town. Want to meet them? Um, you know, my mom is judgy too. So like, I, and my dad, he's very much like he has his own standards as a man. Mm. And if I know that this man doesn't meet those standards, you definitely cannot meet my dad. You can't. Mm. No, it's a chop. It's a chop. (laughs) do, Do he work? Mm. how much money does he make can he take care of you i know mm. you can take care of yourself i want to know can this nigga t- he won't say nigga, but can this man take care of you mm-hmm. you know that that's the type of stuff my dad wants to know do you golf let's go to golf i ain't gonna shoot you out on the golf course we just gonna play i'm gonna see if you like you know how to play you know um but he has he has how would your mom be um, my mom would be looking him, looking at him, checking him up and down. Do he smell good? Is he well groomed? You know, my mom is funny like that. Like, what this nigga look like? What my grandkids? Mm-hmm. Is, is there like, is it gonna be? They gonna be like, what? What's up mm-hmm. with you? Mm-hmm. Um, she will. My mom, she's so funny when guys come around because she wants to be like the cool mom. Mm. She doesn't, wanna, <laughs> you know, she don't want to be like. So how long have you guys been dating? And what do you like about my daughter? You know, she don't do stuff like that. Like, 
she wants to be like cool and just make everybody comfortable. But my family suits, we're so cool. We're like, we're really close knit and it's always a good time. So if you come into that circle and you don't fit in, you got to go. Because who, who can't fit in with us? Like, it's a good time. You you came when you were in Minneapolis for my birthday and we had a whole family dinner. Mm-hmm. Remember that? My mom wanted to sing in front of the restaurant, happy birthday to me. I'm like... Yeah, we did. And she did. She sure did. And people was clapping. I'm like, girl... Uh, well, tables around us and everything clapping after Passion Mama sang her happy birthday at the table. Show did. Crazy. <laughs> that lady crazy. She funny. Mm-hmm. Um, I I would like to meet a man's family this year around the uh let's say if you start dating now and then the holidays happen, I would I would like, you know You should be meeting the family. If you're serious, if yeah. you you know in a and I think world, it's an age- I think it's an age thing too, and I depend. I think it depends on like how you all are dating. Are y'all just dating, like you said, out of boredom, or are you both pursuing something past right that surface level stuff? Um, I wouldn't be nervous about taking anybody. Like, first of all, like I said, I would never take nobody to my family unless I unless I felt like this is gonna be my husband at some point. Mm-hmm. Um. Um. I would be, I would, I'm not nervous about it because like this is my life. So y'all lucky, y'all, y'all would be lucky if I let you get a, a seat at the table at all. But, um, I would be interested to see how a man interacts with my daddy because my daddy is very full of life. He is very in your face, loud, kind of like me, very in your face, loud, like you said, big person. I mean, huge personality. Mm-hmm. I would be interested if you can if you can mesh well with my daddy. Not that he's intimidating because he's a nice guy. Right, right. Mesh well with my daddy. You straight. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, how do you show up in a room as a man, man to man? How you showing up? You know, or do do I am I making you nervous, nigga? Like, <laughs> you know, are you <laughs> are you confident? Like, you know, because my step my stepdad will be the first to tell you this is these are some di- these women are different. Mm. Can you hang? Can mm-hmm. you hang? Because because if mm-hmm. I can, it, I mean, I will hope you can. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's a it's a, everyone. It's a very res- respect. My grandma, do he got some money? <laughs> you know what he got. Now, if I, now, when I take a guy to meet my mom and my stepdad, it's really gonna be just like it's it's it's. I, I hate to say more formal, but that's what it is. You know. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but I can see me taking a man to meet my daddy, and before we leave, my daddy finna pull him in the other room. Hey, I'm real serious about that. My daughter, don't 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 let my daughter call me and tell me. Mm, okay, hit gonna hit. Bed. Yep. Because I. Yeah, it won't be one of them. He gonna and my daddy. My daddy is loud and has a really deep voice too. Really, mm. he can make his voice. You know, how you can make his voice a little deep, like. Like I can make my voice a little deep if I feel like I got <laughs> my daddy get, can get a real deep baritone and he gonna talk to me in that real deep baritone like um don't fuck with my daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Type of thing, like it's pretty old, you know, laughing, joking, have a drink, uh 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 uh-huh. but type of situation. Yep, yep, so. yep. I love that. <laughs> That's funny. Well, whew, that went somewhere we didn't intend for it to go. Well, I, well, yeah, I think that our, I don't think there's anything wrong with discussing like your wants and what you think about yeah. like love and romance and relationships. Like I, I'm not jaded by any of my past relationships and mm-hmm. you know, I refuse to be. I'm, I'm not, not jaded by any of that. I look in love. Mm-hmm. So like. You know, like, we're, like I'm, gonna, I'm not the only person on this fucking journey either. Like, and I know that there are men that are on this journey too. You just it's who want the same thing we want. Exactly. Just gotta. I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna let the wrong. That's why you gotta like. I would say to our listeners, that's why you gotta let the wrong nigga go when it's time to let the wrong nigga mm-hmm. go. Don't be trying to hold on. Don't be trying to give him chance after chance after chance. Let him go. Don't no, let the, the wrong. Don't let the wrong man ruin your outlook on love and relationships and what you want for your life for the right man. That's number one. And number two, just like Pasha and I openly discussed what we want, what we like, and how we're changing, how we're growing, so on and so forth. Those are the type of conversations you ought to be having with a man, too. 
Because yep. what good do it do for me to talk to Pasha about it if I can't talk to the man that I, I want to be with about it? How right. are we going to go? Right. No? Right. Like, are you self-aware to, like, to know, like, man, five years ago, I was, I was reckless. I was doing this. I'm proud of where I am now. And mm -hmm. I told myself I was going to, like, I really love it when a man takes the time to be single. Mm -hmm. I love it. Like there's been times where I'll meet somebody and they'll say, oh, you know, I've been single. I kind of just wanted to like do my own thing and just kind of, I just wanted to do my own thing. I think that is so important. I think women do a really good job of taking time to be single, especially if mm -hmm. they get out of a relationship that maybe mm -hmm. wasn't so good. No one, you know, they got to get over to get it or get under to get over. Not all the time. Sometimes it's okay yeah, to just by yourself and chill. So I like it when, you know, there are men that, take their time. Like I had made, you know, a joke to a friend of mine and he was like, Oh, you know, I'm not that kind of guy. And he was just like, you know, you know, sex isn't everything all the time, but you learn that along the way. I like mm -hmm. when men can have that perspective and like not necessarily let frivolous things or some coochie, like, drive <laughs> them when it comes to their interactions with women. It doesn't always mm -hmm. have to be about that. And I right. like when men are self-aware enough and have maybe had enough life experience and dating experience to, like, know. Like, you can't you can't move on every woman the same kind of way. And, you know, prob you know think about how you're showing up. Like, I wish I, wish I was living with my man and my man on the phone begging his old work. To stay okay. in communication. I don't know. No. Thank God for letting you dodge a bullet. No. What kind of shit is that? Right. Cause I, it, it, because if he doing it with you, he would have done it to you. Like, you would have been with that man and he would have been testing something out of y'all. Talking about we can't still talk. Wow. Yeah, well, like I'm, that's what's like the energy you about. Trash. Like you, so yeah. you as a man don't want to do better and be like, I'm in a relationship with this woman. We live together. Let me do right by her because I'm a man. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got some sense. Mm -hmm. You can look, you can window shop, you can't try on and you cannot buy though. Mm -hmm. But you can look. You but you know what? It's what you say, I'm a man. See, when people be like, I'm a man. Okay, what do that mean to you? Are you a man of your word? Do you have good moral character? Mm -hmm. Are you, you trustworthy? Dick, you have dick discernment or are you giving mm -hmm. it to everybody? Like, what's mm -hmm. your deal? You keep saying, you the man, you the man, you the man, be the man. You want to walk around like you King Kong around this thing. Okay, well, then be a man that's worth saying that's a man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. You can be a man, but are you a man? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, remember when Jill Scott said, if you can tell me what to do, then you can tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Miss Scott. I would love it. Yes, new Jilly from Philly. I love her new album, Miss Jilly. I love her. Mm -hmm. She's a national treasure. So yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm I think I'm in a really positive space just because it's been a great year. Mm -hmm. It's been a beautiful summer. My birthday's mm -hmm. coming up. It's payday. It's Friday. It's my birthday. And I'm off oh, work. Like the blessings God just keep just I mean, like it's okay. just, you know, I and I just don't want nobody to kill my vibe. Okay. I'm so, with it, friend. I don't want no one's killing my vibe this week. Like nobody. Like, don't even okay. try it. If you if I if you try to fuck up my vibe, you not you you won't you're not making it past September 15th. <laughs> <laughs> you will not no because we're going to enjoy the rest of the year and you're going to we're going to keep you right where you was at okay oh. i'm mad at it friend yeah girl speaking of vibes <laughs> i'm not feeling the new vibe i'm not feeling the new song i'm not oh, feeling the new no. video party being big and stallion I am just tired, and I've seen. I saw a lot of people make this same comment on their own story when they reposted the video clip from whatever social media platform they saw posted. I, y'all know, I don't follow but one, and I haven't even really been on social media like that to even be seeing all the posts. But uh, a DJ friend of mine, one of my close friends from back home, was uh, from um, Atlanta, was saying, "What else y'all gonna talk about in music?" Mm. What, what, how many more songs about pussy, getting money, how, how, what else? What else? And not just, this is not just a dig at the women, the, the female rappers. 
this the men too people mm, getting tired yeah. of this murder gang gang kill them shoot them up rock people getting tired of it i saw yeah. uh uh i guess it's a true statistic but i saw or uh, uh what is it called I don't know what to call it, but it was basically saying that Doja Cat got the first best rap song or yeah. best rap album in the whole year. Yeah. Because music has been so trash. All y'all sound alike. All y'all trying to either sound like Lil Baby or Raw Wave with that suicide uh, depression no. music. Damn. Um, like, like, what else? Who has some real like Substance. music? Where is the music? What happened to the music that used to give you a vibe? I want to hear some music that in 20, 30, 40 years, they still playing at the cookout. Because yeah. I don't know Frankie Beverly and Maze on in, yeah. in another 25 before I throw on the stuff that they playing on the radio today. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of I, your friend? Did you like it? Are we the same on this or are we different? We're different on this. I love it. I love it. I love the fashion. The girls are dancing and they're 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 bringing showmanship. But this is a real. This is a video. They got Sean Bankhead to choreograph. They've got the high fashions. They work well together musically. This is the this is what music is missing. It's the women rappers that are like like people are bringing big budget videos back. Like I I liked it, but I fucked with WAP too. Yeah, I didn't like WAP. Um, I wasn't did. a fan. No, that but... song resonated with me. But um, I well, that's what a lot of people said. Cardi was trying to recreate another WAP moment with the yeah. song. Now, this, the, when you say the showmanship, I honestly believe that the bar has been raised back to where it should have been because showmanship was something that and should be just a part of music in general. Yes, absolutely. Tiana Taylor got the girls together, the rap girls, the Lola Brooks. Yeah, yep. You know, even R and B, the Summer Walkers, the Lotto. She got them together. That showmanship, absolutely. that should have been a part of the entire act anyway. And there are some male rappers that have the showmanship. Lil Baby is one of them. You know, he he's working show. with Tiana Taylor. Oh, is he? She she was um she worked with him uh, as the creative director for his tour that he's on. Yeah. Now I can see that being the case for this tour that he's on right now. Yeah. Um, the I O U tour, but yeah. um, Lil Baby always has put on a really good show. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and things like that are important to him. He's one of those artists just 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 also I can't speak for his um love life or relationship life. So y'all please don't eat me mm -hmm. up in in the YouTube comments. Mm -hmm. but um he just is somebody he ha he's somebody that has when it comes to business and things of of the like he has he seems to have good moral character something happened at the memphis show where there was a shooting he, mm -hmm. he wasn't able to perform the whole show he immediately got on his instagram story like y'all couldn't put the whole show on but i'm gonna get everybody a refund i'm gonna make sure everybody get their money yeah back. and when he says stuff like that and he posted you know he mean it he's serious yeah. It's not going to be one of these things that people talking about in three, four months. We were supposed to get our money back. What happened? And they'd be like, oh, it was my team. No, nah, he going to make sure it get handled. Mm -hmm. so, yep. Yep. Y'all know I'm a little baby fan. So. <laughs> y'all know I'm a and little baby fan. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, Tiana Taylor was, is his, has been working with him for this latest tour. So okay. um, yeah, like that, I, I, I mean, Cardi and, Megan the Stallion are both incredibly talented. Um, being as talented and successful as they are allows them the freedom to make a song and have it under wraps for four to six months and then to release the song and a video all at the same time. To have that label backing, that support on both ends, I think that just, you know, it speaks volumes about, you know, the, the song and with the record labels and radio, what they think the song will do. I was at a sports bar on Saturday. I don't know. I feel like because of where they are in their careers, I feel like they're going to be backed whatever they do. And the, the, the label is only going to not back them once they have something flop. When you have an artist of their stature, ain't no record label finna say, no, nah, we're not really feeling it. They're going to just trust your musical guidance or musical inspiration and just go with it until you show them that they shouldn't and i really would have liked i don't know man i just need meg to be a little bit more selective like meg we've seen it we've heard it we've we've we've, we've sang it with you we've wrapped it with you 
Like, where is Tina? Where's Tina? I, I, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I you know, love Tina Snow. Front to back. Front to back. I do. I do. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I, um, I, I hear you. I hear you. But I don't know. I like the song. Well, whatever. <laughs> let, me also ask you, let me also ask you about this. And I want you to give me your opinion on this before I give you mine. Oh, shit. Okay. I want you to tell me what you think about the whole debacle with Erica Mena being mm. um, discontinued from the Love & Hip Hop franchise moving forward. Uh, because of her comments to what was the girl named Spice Spice? Her name is just Spice. Okay, Spice. <laughs> I didn't know her name. Spicy Mama, Big Spice. I don't know. I, y'all know I don't watch what? reality TV. Some of, the, some of the details be a little off of me. Bear with a girl. Okay. <laughs> I do know. I saw enough clips last week or week before, whenever this was going on, where um, Erica Mena, they say she called a girl a blue monkey. Yeah. Um. I saw a couple other celebrities chime in and and give their take on it. So I'm curious what your take is. Um, I feel like when you get angry and you're backed into a corner and you have to throw an insult and that's the first thing you come up with, that that's how you really feel about black people in general. And Mm -hmm. I think think Erica Mena thinks because she's a Latina, light skin or whatever, um, that she's, you know, a little bit better than black people, which is why she chose to address Spice and, and talk to her the way that she did. I'm not mm-hmm. calling nobody, no monkey, no blue monkey. I'm not, I'm not doing none of that. And you calling her a blue monkey cause she's, cause Spice is dark skin. So you trying, mm-hmm. you're being like. And she was wearing a blue wig in the clip, correct? From what I saw, Spice had on a blue wig in the clip where they got um, into it. And she said that to her, she had on a blue wig too. So like, I don't, I don't. I just don't understand. And then what Spice said, she's talking about, don't be talking about my son. Don't be talking about my son. Like she didn't even say anything about her son. She said something, she said something about what her son, how her son feels about Erica. Mm -hmm. She said something like, that's why your son don't, don't get along with you or don't want to deal with you. Mm -hmm. You know, it it was supposed to be a dig at Erica, not at her son. Mm -hmm. So even then, like, you're what you're you're not even re, you're react you're just reacting to react and you just you've been wanting to call her out her name and say something derogatory like that because you can call her a bitch you you say you can call her any kind of thing but you wanted to call her a monkey mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. i don't know i erica men has not really ever been a favorite of mine um i don't watch love and hip-hop and i haven't for a really long time Mm-hmm. Um, because I don't like the portrayal of their portrayal of black love and the black family. So mm-hmm. I just didn't want to, I didn't, I don't, I don't watch stuff like that. Okay. I don't watch stuff like that. Gotcha. What are your thoughts? Whew, I got a couple of different thoughts. Okay. Um, it's interesting though, that the last thing you said was their portrayal of the black family, because I feel like that I feel like the reality shows that black people encompass are always we're always portrayed in a negative light whether that's housewives of atlanta and the way they handle friendships or the way they handle you know tiffs in their marriage i just Mm -hmm. feel like it's highlighted to a point that makes us all look negative Mm -hmm. and builds a stereotype that black women can't have successful marriages black women can't be happy for their friends black women don't want to see other people successful so on and so forth that's number one number two um i and and i'm i'm giving this from a viewpoint of somebody who don't watch any reality tv okay. that show not any show i'm literally just watching the clip that was played hearing what was said mm-hmm. and formulating an opinion Got i it. don't give a damn if spice says something about erica Mer- and erica mena's son <laughs> to erica mena's son in reference to erica mena's son in front of the kids is off limits okay because i don't have no kids but I got some family members that you raise your voice a little too loud at them around me and I'm coming for your neck. Okay. 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 So I don't care who was being addressed or how it was being addressed. We are grown women. We're adults. Why would a kid be coming into a conversation? Mm-hmm. When you back me into a corner and then you mentioning kids, when I come out swinging, whoever get hit in the process is who get hit in the process. <laughs> <What> <laughs> it's just going to be that. Okay. 
Because when you go to war, you don't worry about how things happen in battle. You don't worry about who get killed, hit, hurt in the process. I'm coming out for blood, particularly when there are kids involved. Now, mm. if I was getting into it with somebody of another race, I cannot guarantee you that I'm not going to call somebody something that would be deemed negative to their race. We know okay. what, what people call black folks. Yes. We know a derogatory term people would call white folks. We know a derogatory term people would call uh, Muslims or women who wear hijabs. Yep. So if I feel like any of said people coming at my kids, everything else off the table, oh, ain't nothing yeah. I can't say. Yeah. It ain't going to be nothing I can't do. So yeah. whatever name come out, you know, whatever lip get bust, okay, then that's just, that's just, that's just battle. So, okay. hey, when so some you lose, know, I, don't, I, don't, I tend not to come out on the losing side. So then, so you just said, hey, Erica Mena said what she said. I think if Spice had said that to a dark-skinned woman and the dark-skinned woman would have called her that, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal. If Fair. I was arguing with a dark-skinned black woman and I call her that, it would have been like, mm, not you, but you dark-skinned too, or, you right. know, or... But it, but because she isn't black, because she is fair skinned, it was taken a a a, a way that it was a little bit heightened. Mm, However, and this and this is this is this is second to the last thing I'm gonna say about it. Like Scrappy said, because I saw Scrappy get on the net and voice his opinion about it, and he ended up taking it back. But that's because um Shonda Rhimes, or what, not Shonda Rhimes, what the girl name is, Mona, Mona Scott. Scott Young. Mona Scott probably made that phone call and said, "What was it?" Cause I had the ink ain't dried on your check yet. What was it? But Scrappy was saying y'all put these people like y'all realize all this stage, right? So y'all put people in these predicaments. You knew that Spice was going to mention her daughter, her son, and then you get mad at her for how she react about it. Y'all yeah. set all of this up. Yeah. You set her up to go to war, and you mad how she fought the battle. That's not fair. And I agree. That, that's that, not fair. That makes, that's a very valid point. It's not fair. And the last thing I want to say about it is this is something I was saying in the TikTok sellers group that I was in when there was an issue with something going on for a certain seller and I was speaking up on it and making it like it was my issue. And mm -hmm. they were like, well, you have this many followers, so this don't even really apply to you. Why would I wait for it to apply to me to speak on it if it's wrong? Right, right. Because when something else wrong go on, I expect all y'all to be in here chirping, yep. talking, saying something. I'm not going to wait until a sad situation happens to me to say that's not right. That's not okay. And I think the rest of the Love and Hip Hop cast, I think it's a slippery slope and maybe it was difficult for them if maybe they really felt like what Erica said was wrong. But I think the way that they need to have spoken on the fact that Love and Hip Hop stage things this way. They need to be able to come together as a group, as, as a, a collective for the entire love and hit all cities and say, look, y'all going to set up these scenes. Y'all know we going to fuss. Y'all know we going to cuss. But it's certain things that y'all can't have people do. Don't have nobody in here talking about my kids. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. Don't do that. Because you want me to pay, you want you want to pay me to react, but you want to limit how I react. You don't get to do that when my children are involved. It's You right. just can't. Right. I think they should have spoke up and they should have said something about that because if they don't, somebody else going to have some that go on, mm -hmm. how they respond, going to get them kicked off the love and hip hop platform mm -hmm. or show. And they're going to, y'all did this. I should have, y'all did the same thing to Erica minute. Yeah. And you was quiet as a church mouse mm -hmm. when it went on too. That was the time to speak up. Not when it affected you. Yep. You can always count on me, listeners, for a controversial point of view. You're welcome. I don't. I don't think it's controversial. I mean, you, you. Well, I think because all black people expect that, or a lot of black people. I can't say all, but a lot of black people just expect when they're, when 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 certain words or you know certain derogatory remarks get made, particularly when it's pertaining to our skin color, mm -hmm. we all got to be up in arms. Yeah. But I'm telling you, as a dark skinned black woman, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold back what I say about somebody when they talk about my kids. Right. I'm not. 
Not my kids, not my mama, not my brother. I'm not. Please don't expect that from me because I'm black or because I'm dark skinned. You expecting that from the wrong person. Yep. Yep. Every, all, there is no certain way. You can't, you can't, you, you just, you can't poke the bear and then tell the bear, bite me on my arm, don't bite me on my foot. It don't work yep. that way. It's not, yep. you can't do that. You're, I mean, I don't like, it's called the same difference because, you know, we're nine times, eight times out of 10, we're the same. Um, two times out of 10, we're different. That doesn't mean that your different opinion is like the wrong opinion. You, Erica said what she said in that moment. Scrappy's point is really, it, it's valid. It's valid. Mm-hmm. You, you set up the situation. You put this person in a pressure cooker and they fucking reacted. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I can't say that if I got into it with a white person that I wouldn't, you know, call them something. And that's, right. you know? and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but I guess this is a semantics thing because she, like you said, kids are off limits. Don't bring up my son. That's true. Don't even, don't even, op- don't even breathe. Don't even act like you're going to fix your face. Right. We're grown women we- having, a, having a disagreement about whatever. Why is my kids being brought into this at yeah. all? Yeah, like no 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 we're not doing mm-hmm. that um but you know like you why why you call the girl a monkey i mean and you're, gonna, you're gonna, gonna be like you 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 with that blue wig bitch you blue wig wearing i mean there's so many other things that she could have said to her but 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 in that moment we don't even know how that triggered her to talk about her son in that way because and again, I don't watch the show, so I'm not completely all the way familiar mm-hmm. with the conversation with the situation. I don't know if there's something where people were trying to say maybe her son was a little bit slow or he had some sort of disability. Oh. So if that is also part, and I don't know, I could be wrong. I saw a comment. I don't know how valid the comment is, but if that was the case, so not only is you talking about my kids, but you talking about the one that might also have something wrong with him and that's hitting me and hurting me a little bit different. I'm yeah. coming for blood. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming for blood. Ain't blood. nothing off this at this point. Big. I do like that Erica hasn't spoken on it though. Was there a saying? I really like that. I hope she keeps it that way. I hope behind the scenes, she's getting her lawyers ready and she is going to go to the table and say, you um wrongful termination something because you put you put you push me into this situation you provoked me you told me in in my in my contract terms that i had to fulfill certain obligation to give the show a certain zhuzh and pizzazz and i've given the zhuzh and pizzazz because it's on every blog (laughs) it's on tmz yeah it's on Online, on TV, it's being talked about. So I fulfill my part of the obligation. So I'm confused as to why I'm losing my job. If I was an attorney, that's the angle I would be going with. Erica, you woke. Yeah. Yeah. Mona would be cutting me a real big check. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, she understood the assignment. <laughs> yeah, she sure um, did. But like it did what it was supposed to do. Guess who's guess who guess how many more people are gonna be turning tuning in to see more clips of her on the show while she's still on the show. Yep. You gonna use me to boost your ratings and then fire me? And then I fire think. me. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's that's uh-uh. that's foul. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I would have uh-uh. to say that that's foul. Um, but I don't it's I don't know. It's hard, it's I don't watch it, so it's just hard to say, but like they're they're there were a lot more reasons to fire people on that show that haven't gotten fired. Mm. So see there. Yeah. Yeah. So I, um, <sighs> part of me wonder, is this part of the whole stunt too? Well, I, I'm, I'm just, I just feel like in this day and age, if you're like, well, Erica famous, end up coming back, making an apology. And then Mona Scott Young say after, careful deliberations we have decided to bring erica you know is this all is it all one big show right 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 because you know? right. i wouldn't be surprised if that was the case either but i don't know i just like that she hasn't said anything and i hope that her lawyer is saying everything at the table really mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. we shall see stay tuned but yeah she is quiet she's mute but that's good i mean PR 101, shut the fuck up. 
and shut up until everything gets settled and you know squared away and we figure out what what's what what our mm-hmm. options are mm-hmm. we're not saying shit though yeah we're not saying shit uh, yeah no no um, well that's all i got friend i want to know what your plans for your birthday weekend are coming on up um i am going to janelle monet on thursday i am <laughs> What they used to call that lady with that black and white she used to wear all the time? What they used to call her? The Monopoly Man. Huh? The Monopoly Man. The Monopoly Man, Humpty Dumpty. Yeah. She don't do that no more, but no, that was she fine. Don't. She fine. Okay, yeah. so you have a whole event field weekend, Thursday, Janelle Monet. Um, Friday, I'm gonna have lunch at the Barbie Cafe. Okay. Um Saturday or uh Friday afternoon, maybe happy hour. I'm definitely gonna do dinner. Dinner on Friday night at this French restaurant called Le Select. It's really cute. They have there. pasta. Um, I don't know. When I went there, oh, okay. I thought I, it was a place that had pasta. I know you love pasta, so I thought so, maybe that's what you wanted for your birthday. So it there's either that for dinner or this place called Gino and Marty's, which is like really nice and really good Italian food. And you know, I deserve a big bowl of pasta. Um, so there's a couple of options. Um, Saturday is up in the air. I don't have any set plans. And then Sunday, I'm going to brunch with a friend. Okay. So, you know, I actually kind of wanted this to be like a low key weekend. So, Pasha, girl, yeah. go to low key hell. Ain't nothing you can go <laughs> I want it to be low key for real. No. I've been doing so much. Like, I just want to relax and, you know, maybe be in the company of a handsome man, get a little kiss, you know, a little booty grab or something. You know, on a flower. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> That's all I want for my birthday. That's it. You know, a little steamy makeout or something. You know? That's a steamy makeout lean. Never mind. It was? Never. what? Never. You, you was about to say? Mm-mm. Huh? Mm-mm. Well, my plans for the weekend. Um... <laughs> Is it a man on your phone? Because you was into whatever you looking at, girl. <laughs> no, I'm working on uh, my Instagram post. You know, I'm counting up my count up because mm-hmm. these numbers is big. I don't have no plans for the week. There is a happy hour that I might check out on Thursday. I need to go back to the page that I saw it on and look at the details because I just can't remember if it's every Thursday or every okay. other Thursday or once a month Thursday. Um, and then I found a couple of places on TikTok that kind of told me where my people are. Okay. My people. So I don't know. I'm going to see what day I would want to go to that. I'm really kind of trying to do a low key thing. I, I don't want to go to brunch because I know how to brunch gets. It's a turn up situation. I don't want to turn up. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't want to hear loud music. Um, <laughs> I very much want to go somewhere. I really, I found a couple of places that's on the water. So I really like being able to go there, eat, uh, get a nice view, catch a vibe. I would like to go somewhere like that. And I'm hoping okay. that one of the places that I found where my people are have that type of vibe and view. Okay. Um, and we'll see. We'll see I if like I even this. get you out. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. So. I, I'm I'm very excited to hear about your Tampa adventures, girl. Like, go outside, baby. Time. Go outside, baby. I'm not outside, like, I'm not outside like you, friend, but I am trying to do I, a little bit I don't more. know what that means, I, outside you know like exactly you. What I, mean. I don't know what that yeah. like you. What, you know girl? exactly what I mean. Uh-uh, I'll be in the house. <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> I'll be in the house. I could mm. be in the house. Okay. Chilling, girl. Minding my business. Well, okay. Trouble. Then, that's all I got for today. I'll be. I'm excited to hear next week about how the birthday weekend went and all the things you did. If you yes. got, the, if you got the steamy makeout session or the booty rub, you know, see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the weekend shakes out. I I, I just want to be beautiful, eat good food. 
drink some good sparkling wine and yeah get a little kiss maybe a little booty squeeze okay let's hope my birthday wishes come true (laughs) (laughs) you know stay tuned you know i'm gonna tell you (laughs) that's offline okay friends see you next week Bye. bye